And welcome back, YouTube. This is Boosterbox Buster here with another video. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you some more Anju Viaju, chapters 9, 10, and miscellaneous individual card purchases. This is a mega mail haul. I did a whole bunch of individual card purchases because I really am going after reverse hollows. Of course, a lot of those reverse hollows still remain elusive, but I picked up ones that I was able to find for my collection. Alright, so first we're going to start off with a chapter 9 stack, and then we're going to go to 10, and then we're going to go to miscellaneous, which is just ones that I was able to find from previous sets that I was missing. Alright, so first up... Oh, and before I start, I do want to mention... Today's lovely playmat is of Clarissa on vacation from the chapter, I believe, 3.5 set. It was like the small uh, mini set that they did that had like 40 cards, every card was holographic, and it was like all like on vacation set. So, just want to let you know, Clarissa on vacation. Alright, let's start. So first up... We're going to start with chapter 9. This is number 2, so this is Emily Mack, Full Support, Cheerleader Squad. Very cool. And one thing I do want to note before we get too, too far. So, uh, from chapter 9, I believe through chapter 12... They had a completely, they uh, changed the reverse hollow pattern. It used to be this style, a little uh, speckly dots. Now it's this, uh, like, cross pattern, uh, like, rays of light style. And I prefer this style personally over this. Just wanted to show you. Alright, so let's get back into that. So we got Emily Mack, full support. Actually, good question of the day. Let me know in the comments down below which style you prefer. The Rays of Light style or the Speckly Dots for the Reverse Hollow. Uh, then we got number three. This is Shido Urarahana. Morning Greetings. Very cool. We got another Shido. This one is number five. And that is Elegant Origami. Some sort of origami ability with this one. Really cool. Then we move on to number six. That's Sukiyahara Sleep Sunny Holidays. Another Sukiyahara. Uh, ultra Leg Strength. So she has really, she's really fast. Kind of like the fat. Kind of like the Flash. Ten, Tunagi, Mayuki, a masterpiece, creation. Very cool. Number twelve. This is Miyumi Hanata, called to the sea. Very lovely card art there. Miyumi cards tend to demand a premium from the Angie Verge series. I don't know why, but they're always like. $5 a card for the Reverse Hollows, and that's a lot of money for a dead card game. Amiyumi, Protect the Blue. Then we go down to 14. This is Misa, Blaze Dalki, Awakening of the Ancient uh, Species. AKA, okay, she's waking up in the morning. This is the SR. Let's flip the page. Misa Blaze Dalk, Flame God Demon. Very cool. This is the Enthusiati Enthusiastic Support Fan Club. <laughs> really cool looking. And the secret of the attic. We got ghost stories going on here. Pretty cool. 
21 is Abby Secret Training. Then we got 22, Abby Ties with Rivals. So her and Sakura are actually rivals. I did not know that. That's actually really cool to know. 24, Isabel, Midday Awakening. Very cool. 26 is Kachura on the Banks of a Fountain. Very lovely, cool uh, art. Some sort of like a water dragon. Kakucha, Breath of the Water Dragon. And we move on to 30. This is Claire, Beyond the Battle. Very hard to find Claire cards. I don't know why, but seems to be a very popular character from the series. Uh, 33. This is going to be a Sophina card. This is Sophina, the troubling black witch, and she's there with uh, green and blue support. Pretty cool. Uh, 34, Sophina, disturbing news. Oh, that's unfortunate. No one likes to get bad news. Uh, super rare Sophina, Heavenly Black Witch. Very hard to see the hollow, but it is there. Uh, 37 is Frambrosi, a boring little devil. She's yawning in, of boredom. And 38, Frambrosi, Secret of the Play. Very cool. All right, let's move, or let's continue, I should say, not move on, but continue. 39, the Abyss Mage of Indigo. Pretty cool name there. Uh, 41, Amber, the Whisper of a Dream. 42, Amber, Little Red Riding Hood. That's adorable. I love that. Got a couple of speckles on there, too. I wonder if that's, like, damage? That's kind of weird. Let me look. You got... You almost got, like, two different hollow patterns going on here. It is a rare, so I wonder, because... The rare pattern... The base rare pattern actually looks kind of like... The... Kind of like the old, uh... Reverse holo pattern. So I wonder if, uh, like, there was some transfer or. Because I would imagine that it would be on two separate sheets, but yeah, that's that's kind of kind of different. Kind of see some speckles right there. All right, we got 40, 43, Gabriella, Faith. Uh, Faithful Apostle. 45. Norns. Lepera... Leper... Ashia. Leper Ashia. Love the Maiden. Norns. Uh, to Repel Corruption. And... 48 is Norn's Prayer of the Holy Horned Beast. Very cool. Then we move on. To Norn's Awakening. Basically, whenever you see that yellow, that means it's an awakening card. Usually. 50 is Yura, Clear Prayer. 51, Yura, with my best friend. That's adorable. 52, Ruby, connecting, connected to the goddess. With uh, Aurora in the back there. Uh, Ruby, 54, 
writing a song as red as the Red Shrine Maiden. Interesting. Fifty nine is the fortune box. That's super cute. Sixty one code uh, Sigma forty six Aria intelligence form. Sixty three is Aria blitz form. Very cool. And 64 is Arya Destroy form. And 65 is Arya's Awakening. Very cool. Then we got uh, 66 Code Omega 46 Zienna Dream. 70, Dr. McCall, An Uncertain Hypothesis. Dr. McCall, Progress. Uh, 73, Code Omega Zero, Euphelia, Maintenance. Very hard to get the Euphelia cards. 75, Code R, Rana, Remodeled Human. Oh, maybe it's like an Astro Boy type character. Uh, 76, Code R. Rana, Messenger of Justice, with the Angevergu card in her hand, breaking the fourth wall. And Type PU-22 Rin Patrol Mode, like the police. Very cool. Alright, so that does it for Chapter 9. I did not get any green. I will tell you a secret. I, I haven't got any green yet because I'm trying to save them for one big purchase where I just go out and try to get as many green reverse hollows that I need that I can. Alright, so we're going to move on to chapter 10. So first we got uh, Sakura Family Weakness. Which is cats. Hey, I don't blame you. Cats are super adorable. They're everybody's weakness. And then we got number four. Sakura in a snowy town. Oops, sorry about that. Five. Sakura. Little buddy. Adorable with the, uh, like, cat plush there. Then we move on to seven, Mayuki Tunagi, Dangerous Hands, <laughs> holding that uh, apple, yes, very dangerous indeed. This is number 11, Ri Namira, an uncontrollable impulse, so maybe her power is very hard to control. Uh, Namiri, Awakening. Need to, oh, uh, Miyumi Hinata, wind dancing in the morning. So she's just dancing, having fun in the morning. Very cool. This is Shinobu Kazamani, run through the dark night, like a, a silent ninja, ready to go in for the kill. 22, Arusamiru, The Temptation of Gold. Looks like she's the one tempting uh, someone else with gold. Greed has been the downfall and corruption of many, many people. 30, we got Mildred. To Pierce. Uh, 31, Mildred, the Witch Queen who wields all the darkness. This is a very prominent character later on in the card game. For the little life I had left. 
Then we go to the Dark Elf. Uh, Lumiri, in a very self-describing title, uniform that is too small to be worn. Very true. Lumiri, uh, the Phantom Player of Peace. Uh, we got Rosalia. This is a uh, Happy New Year. 39, Orc Chariot Team. Carrying what appears to be Lumiri up there. Very cool. And 40, the Jealous Mask of Deadly Sins. Do not want to wear that. 41, sorry, 43, Aurora, Lips of Compassion. That's adorable. She's helping a little uh, animal back to health. 44, Aurora, Terra Ruby. Sounds like a Power Ranger quote. 45, this is Excusa. This is breakfast. 46, Excusa, harsh criticism. 49. This is Gladissa with the winning sword. Very cool. Uh, all the way to 48. Wait a minute. Is, did I have that backwards? I did. Whoops. Oopsie poopsie. Accidents happen. This is Gladissa with After School Fun. Then we go to 50. Titania, the Rainbow Princess. Very cute. And 51, Titania, Charismatic Fairy. With the ruby. Ah, then we have Titania's Awakening. Very lovely art. I love that art so much. 55 with Ferno. Changing. That's, that's like the classic anime scene where somebody accidentally walks in when they're changing and then they just get slapped to high heaven. Uh, 56, Ferno, care for a favorite horse. So that is her favorite horse. Very cool. And we have that little bit of a spec there again, too. I wonder what's going on. Look at that right in the middle. Some sort of weird defect. Uh, 58, Ruby, Red Guardian. Then we go all the way to 65. I have to actually flip the page. This is Code Sigma 40 Scion, or S Sinon, The Awakening. Code Omega 46 Sienna, uh, Those Connected with the Future. Sixty-eight. This is code fifty-five. Uh, Omega Pinel cool down mode. Every drill has to have a cool down. You overwork it, it's gonna start a fire. Seventy-four. Code Omega Laura maintenance of the gun she loves. Code uh, Liana. Referee below. Then we have 78, Liana Super Rare, Hero of Humanity. Very powerful name for a card. This is another beautiful card. I was very happy I was able to find this. 
because I really wanted this one in Reverse Hollow. This is features Euphelia with field jamming, so like a radar jam type thing. Very cool. And 80, we have the Reactive Defensor. Very cool. And that wraps up Chapter 10. Alright, now I'm going to go through the miscellaneous cards that I got to fill holes in my uh, Reverse Hollow Collection. And I also have a few that are just base set cards that I needed as well. So first up from Chapter 1, we have Sophina. I'm not going to get the exact names for you, I'm just going to try to do the character names. We also have Sophina again from Chapter 1. Very cool. This is from Chapter 1. I forget her exact name, but it is one that I needed. Very happy to have. Chapter 1. This is actually the SR. You gotta remember, uh, SRs had the exact same holo pattern as regular uh, reverse hollows. Didn't have the uh, side like leafing on there. And this is Zienna SR from set one. Very cool. The like little eye drone. Very cool. I believe that's Ramel from chapter two. Reverse Hollow, Dark Elf, uh, Robot Maid, Shield Defender, another Sophina, very cool. Ruby on the mic. Euphelia. Like I said, it's been very hard to get Euphelia cards, so whenever one pops up, I try to grab it. Miyumi. Miyumi again. Sophina. Karen. Zienna with the Orca Dolphin. Very happy to have that in Reverse Hollow. Alright, and these are base set cards uh, that I needed just to plug some holes in my collection. We got an Alpha Driver in blue from set 4. I have this in Reverse Hollow, could not find it in uh, regular until now. This card was quite expensive for a dead card game. I think it was like almost I think it was like 12 12 to 15 bucks which is really expensive for a dead card game this is a Miyumi so Fina Zienna Rosalia and we end it with the Wedding Dress Hollow. Very cool. Alright. So as far as Andrew Virgil pickups, that does it for this individual Mega Hall purchase. Focused on Chapter 9s and 10s, along with just filling in some other holes that I was missing. So with that said, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you want to see future content like this, please hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps out the channel a lot. And leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Did you like this video? Did you not? Let me know. It's always good uh, to learn with feedback. And with all that being said, this is Boostbox Buster. I'm signing out. Peace.